guys, my name is Lily and today I have a very special guest on my channel. It's Ron from Atlas Survival Shelter. Hey everybody! And he just did a spontaneous trip to Austria and then he called me and now we are about to go into a bunker. What well, kind of bunker is it? Well, it was built for the Cold War. It's about uh, 160 square meters. And as you're going to see, it has like four bedrooms and a living room and bathroom and a generator. But soldiers actually would stay in this bunker and they had cannons sticking out of it. Wow. And they would actually fight. So there was actually a bunch of these around here. So like this bunker would cover that area okay. and another bunker a kilometer away would cover this his back. Okay. So there was a whole series of these bunkers. But of course, when the Cold War ended, they didn't need them no more. So you already know more about Austria than me? That's great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now we are crawling through the bash because we want to check out the infrastructure which is around the bunker. So apparently the bunker was uh, pretty well guarded, even from the outside as well. From the inside? Wow. Yeah, so this is where they would sit with the machine guns? So you have two angles. So this is where the machine gun was mounted? Mm -hmm. And it was showing up here? And yet outside. There's probably a steel dome. Yeah, there is a steel dome with a, with a oh, okay. Okay. slot. Wow. We can... Wow. This bunker was designed for them to fight. They would fight from here. You notice we're up on a hill? Okay. So they took the high ground. And all right. They could be shooting at people down below all the way around. Yeah. And these trenches are so they can move from one machine gun nest over to another machine gun nest. Uh huh. So this is like history right here. This is really a fortress. Yeah. It's not a, it's not a uh, end of the world doomsday bunker. This is like a World War II fighting style bunker. Because uh, a, a fallout shelter would have the air system. This doesn't have the air system. Mm. But it could be added to this and then this mm. could be a fallout shelter. Mm. But it was it's built with like two meters of concrete over your head. Wow. So this would withstand like a nuclear blast. Yeah. Yeah, this thing's strong. It's massive. Oh yeah, it is. So you are the number one in bunker building in the US. Yes. And what is the most sold bunker right now? They buy one called the Safe Cellar because it's, it's, it's real wide, it's got tall ceilings, it's got underfloor storage, it's got built-in water tanks, mm -hmm. and it's just roomy. It's like having a hotel room okay. underground with a nice big staircase. You don't feel like you're in a bunker in there, mm -hmm. you feel like you're in a hotel. Okay, so. here on the left side we can see the bunker. It looks like a hill just inside of this forest. So you got to go through like five doors to get into this bunker. It's pretty cool. High security bunker. It's cold, isn't it? Yeah, it's that really nice. cold. So you know what that is, right? I don't know. Can you I shoot? So they can shoot at you. Yeah. And defend this hallway. Yeah. Okay. This was a fighting bunker. Right. Yeah. Now, go right and then you go left. You know why it does that? To protect you from the blast. Also, so people can't shoot bullets down the hallway. Mm. Okay. Wow, it's pretty modern. Now he's going to go start at the generator. Give me a second. It's two stories. It's got two meters of concrete on the ceiling. And I think two meters under the floor because you got to be able to hold up the weight of a bunker like this. This is the supply room. One supply room, but he's got like extra. Uh, it's got everything. Vacuum tubes. It's got a lot of parts. The electricity. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. There's an electric room right there. Mm -hmm. This is the work area. They got a. Um, now, what's this water heater? It's electric. That is electric, and so uh, it has a solar system. But the solar system above is not installed. Mm -hmm. it, it uses the electricity from the generator. Yes. And the heating wow. system back then was only gra gravity. The, the pipes are big and become smaller and smaller. And only by by using the the natural heat, it circulates by itself. You don't need a pump for that stuff. Wow. This is one of the bedrooms, or actually this has only got three beds in it. Okay. And this is the shooting hole. Yeah. <laughs> that is one of the shooting holes right there. Yeah, that's the one that looks right down the hallway. This is the hot tub room. They got the spa in here. And um, 
has got weights. A mirror so you can look at yourself. I've never seen a bunker in a spa day yet. Yeah. A well inside of a bunker. How great is that? So it has an internal well. So that's good. They don't have to worry about water. That's so valuable, you don't understand. You don't have to go outside for water. So this is the water softener right here. See all that? That's the salt and stuff for softening the water comes coming straight out of the well. But that right there, that thing's worth a lot of money <laughs> to a bunker. I love this bunker because this one has its own elevator. It's hand it's um, hand operated. So you gotta crank over here and you just crank it like this. So that's, that's at floor level right there. So this is really for bringing stuff up. But the fact that they have one, that's, that's so cool, you know? People in wheelchairs always ask me, how, how do people in wheelchairs get in bunkers? Well, the answer is gravity's on your side. You can get them down easy, but it's getting them back out. But if you can put an uh, elevator in a bunker, you can do it. But most of the bunkers that people buy and we do, they're not this big, so they can't afford it. Yeah. This bunker nowadays, to build a bunker like this, would probably cost like $5 million at least. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, and this one's selling, well, offers start at like $1.25 mm -hmm. And I'm gonna probably auction this thing off and see the highest bidder because the way the world is right now, somebody's gonna want this bunker and they're gonna wanna fix it up and just have, if I had all the money in the world, which you know a lot of my customers do you want a bunker because it's like what are you going to do if the world ends you can't use your money it's gone so yeah. at least you have a bunker so yeah. that's why it's fun to have these <laughs> okay so this here this has got um six bunk beds in here so you wonder how many it sleeps so it, well, look at the ceilings in here they're tall and you know what that is about there two meters of concrete wow. so that's six, over six feet thick of concrete up there and then under the floor, it's the same thing. Um, but these are probably the original beds from uh, 1959 or 1960. So this is a 60-year-old bunker. So I'll show you some more rooms. Oh, this here. You can peek in there just so you have it. This is just, um, just a storage room. But it's got another hot water heater in there. Is this a backup water saying, heater? Yeah. The saying is one is none and two is one. So in a bunker, you want two of everything. Two of this, two of that, because you're not going to be able to go to the hardware store and pick it up. So, yeah, so you got to have everything. So over here, you're going to like this, Lily. This bathroom was made just for you. Oh my God, look at this. Yeah, so this bathroom's new. Uh, he just nice. put the tile in in the last 10 years. And it's got a his and a hers bathroom. So you got two toilets in here. Mm -hmm. With nice toilet lids. Yeah. Yeah. So you can choose. You can poop on a on a uh, lighthouse, okay. or you can poop on a dolphin's face. <laughs> okay. This is your kitchen. That stove has got to be before 1960. It's yeah. old. That stove works on wood and coal, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you're actually burning wood and coal in there, and, and the heat's going up there, and they're transferring it. Is the stove actually heating the bunker too? Only the water, it could, but by, by radiation, yes. Huh. You want to see something cool? You ready for this? Uh -huh. This is the escape tunnel, okay? You open this, you open this, and then you open that door right there, and then basically you dig out. Okay. Yeah, and there's like four of these in here, uh -huh. which is cool, that's a lot. Cool. Okay, good job with that light, by the way. Okay, you ready for this room? <laughs> this is the living room. I don't know what style you would call this, <laughs> but um, like the, the Munster family or something? Yeah, you know? Adam's family. Uh, you know the, the TV show, The Munster Family? <laughs> no, I don't know. You know, with, uh, with uh, Frankenstein okay. and, and Count yeah. that family? How do I look? Uh, nice. <laughs> So this is the living room, and they also have a projector on the wall. Mm -hmm. so, they can watch on TV. Now, the gentleman that bought this bunker, he bought it like 15 years ago, and he did some work to it to clean it up and stuff. But, you know, the way the world's going right now, somebody in Vienna would buy this bunker. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, uh, in the million-plus dollar range. 
Yeah. And they would probably have to spend 250,000 euros on it. But for a million and a half dollars, you'd have a bunker that would, I said 5 million. Mm -hmm. It'd probably be more than that because the concrete's so thick. Mm -hmm. This could be an eight or nine million dollar bunker. I really just don't know the cost of materials here. And there's more to this bunker than what we're seeing. It's got all the machine gun nests and everything around here. So technically, this bunker is designed for somebody to like have a bunker and defend it from around it. Because mm -hmm. you don't want to let them get to the bunker door because mm -hmm. once they do that, you're kind of caught. You want them to, uh, you want to take the fight to them out in the woods and the last what we call broken arrows, like when they've, they've broken in, you know, you go back into the bunker and you're basically holding out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, and at that point, it's just a, a sit and wait game. So they're going to try to smoke you out, find the air pipes and, and uh, clog them off so you can't breathe. Mm -hmm. But that's what the escape tunnel, so this one over here, let me show you this one. This one over here is, is I like this one. Um, so it's got the doors, but it doesn't have the second doors. And you see it's concrete. So this is like the last ditch effort that you're gonna literally take a drill or tool and you're gonna literally have to bust through concrete mm. to get out. Yeah. Yeah. So this bunker was well thought out, so it could be well defended. Mm. But you see it's got all the ducting in there for all the heat. You see all that above? Yeah. yeah, that's all your heat ducting right there. It doesn't need air conditioning. Of course, it's cold down here. Yeah. Of course, it has the old uh, water heater. I mean, the old heaters here, too. Uh -huh. Yeah, so does it get cold here in Austria in the winter? Yes, it gets down to, okay. in this region, minus 15 degrees Celsius. I don't know how it, how it is in Fahrenheit. Well, that's like Canada, but that's why this bunker has all this heat. Yeah. Have you ever seen a bunker with candelabras? <laughs> Not yet. Well, now you have. <laughs> It's my first time too, okay? That's definitely a first. All right, so let's see what else we got. So as far as sleeping beds go, this room could have three more beds in here, even six more beds. Mm -hmm. You got the bathroom. This is the only bathroom, so it only has two toilets. But it's got, you know, walk-in shower size. And you've got um, six beds in here, of course. So you can sleep six, and six has, what, 12? What else am I missing? Of course, you could always put more people in the other room, but they have a living room. <coughs> so realistically, this bunker can sleep anywhere from 12 to 30 people if you really had to, mm. you know? But yeah. This is designed to be a private bunker. I mean, in the aftermarket, this bunker is designed to be a private bunker for a wealthy family for a shit hits the fan. They can leave Vienna, come out here, and this is their end of the world bunker, mm. you know? A lot of tools in here, exactly well, what you need. There was, a, there was a cannon back here, see that hole? Yeah. This is where one of the cannons was. But anyway, but you know, there's really, there's not, not really bugs in here and too many spiders. It's in really good shape. Yeah, we made it out of the <laughs> bunker. <laughs> We did, we made it out alive. That is so cool though, isn't it? It's crazy what, how what, big this what thing was, is. What was the first impression thing you had? How cold it was? Yeah, it was really cold and also it looked so new because I thought it's going to be an old bunker, but it's really renovated and really nice. Well, it's concrete. It just needs some 10 or 11 carrying some paint. Yeah. I heard there was a rumor that Survival Lily liked to go camping in the woods. <laughs> Maybe she'll go camping in a bunker. Yeah, that would be a first time. <laughs> oh my God, look at this. A hunting seat. Uh, yeah, but there's a prison over there too. Prison. So this this bunker actually has a jail or a little prison shack so they could put captured prisoners. So what's cool about this, Lily, is that this has um, over two hectares, almost three hectares. It's uh, six acres and uh, you can grow chickens. It's got like four or five of the machine gun nests. It's defendable. You got the high ground. Um, it's got a lot of other buildings on it, but this is kind of neat. I've never seen a bunker that had a prison shack. Yeah, so that's why there's bars on this window here. Um, so, Lily, do you want to be locked in here? Um, uh, no. Not really? Okay. <laughs> so it was the prison shack, but somebody went ahead and put in ceramic tile in here. They made it kind of like livable. So if you have this bunker, you don't always have to be in the bunker. You can come out here 
and you can have people just stay into the little guest house as well. So it's pretty nice actually. Look at this, it's got the stove too as well. So it's got a fireplace with the heater on it. And it's all made of concrete. The thickness of these walls, uh, these walls are uh, they're about 14 inches thick. So they're super heavy. Thank you so much for showing me this bunker. It's really awesome. No problem. Um, so you're gonna come back and spend a couple nights, right? <laughs> It's a dare. I dare survival lately to spend two nights in a bunker. Oh my god. This is, it's, it's better than sleeping in the dark, right? Yeah, of course. It's at like least a hotel in the forest. I'm telling you. But you are in the forest, you know, look mm. at this. So thank you so much for watching and if you want to see more videos like this, then make sure that you check out Ron's channel on YouTube. It's called Atlas Survival Shelter, right? Yeah, Atlas Survival Shelter. And yeah, please give him a like and subscribe to his channel as well. <laughs> okay. Stay tuned till next time. So this is how you can camouflage a bunker. And now it doesn't look like an entrance, it looks more like a storage area. Look at this. <laughs> Isn't it crazy? It looks like a trash pile. Uh -huh. You can't even tell that's the entrance. Yeah. This is good. Yeah. They're doing a good work here. Yeah, I gotta fill that. That's just too good. I wasn't expecting that, you know? That was the best part of the whole video, <laughs> you know?